White 98.7, making your life simpler and easier, one transformation at a time. Here's today's Transformation Thursday. Hey, Matt and Naomi, how are you guys? Doing great, how are you? Very good, very good. Are we talking turkey today or what? We are talking turkey, and it's not you we're talking about, Matt. Uh, (laughs) I had to make a funny, sorry. (laughs) We're actually talking about Tom Turkey. We're talking about getting organized for Thanksgiving. So, you know, before you know it, it's been a few short weeks. It's going to be time to get ready for Thanksgiving. And I love to host the holidays. I always have Thanksgiving at our house, and we have a huge crowd. And the way that I can really have a good time with my family and enjoy it is to be prepared and get a little bit organized before the day begins. So here's some tips I have. Number one, plan your menu. You know, everybody knows turkey's a must, but we don't want to forget all those side dishes. So it's great to make a list of everything you're going to have on your menu and then a grocery list to go with all the things that you need to make that. That's critical because you don't want to be, you know, Thanksgiving morning or the day before trying to make a dish and not have all the things that you need. Right. One quick tip, too, if you have a lot of company and you like to send leftovers home while you're out grocery shopping for all your items, pick up those plastic containers, those ones that you can send home with leftovers, and you don't need to get them back. You don't, don't give away your good Tupperware. I like so that idea. Nice inexpensive ones. We love to do that, and the family loves to take home you know, goodies at the end of the day. What's on your menu this year, Deb? Oh, my goodness. I make about 12 different side dishes. I tend to just go a little bit over the top on the holidays, but I really enjoy it. I make about eight of them myself with my family, and then my mother-in-law brings another four. So we have, you know, of course, the mashed potatoes and the squash casserole. But I do really unique things like um, pineapple casserole. It's always been in our repertoire, and we've been doing it for years. It's just something that we really like. I love to make the green bean casserole. Oh, I love that, and that's Naomi's favorite, too. Yes, the green bean casserole with the fried onions on the top. The other thing that I really like, and it's so easy, is I like to make fresh corn, but I put lime butter. So I take real lime juice, and I take the you know the skin, the pith off the lime, and I put it in with butter and melt it, and then put it over the corn, and it just makes like it, it's more special than wow. just plain corn. Yeah, it's a really fun thing. I'm so excited. What should I bring? I'm okay, already hungry. You want to come, Matt? <laughs> You're welcome to come. I don't have a right family. <laughs> You fit right in. My um, family's next- going to Europe for Thanksgiving, so they're nowhere to be found. Oh, no. Well, you're welcome to come. You have an open invitation to come to our house. It's crazy, but we have really good food and a lot of fun. I'll bring the potatoes. <laughs> awesome. Well, that's my mother in laws job. We don't want to take that away from my mother-in-law. She does the potatoes. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, okay, fair enough. Um, the next thing is get creative with decorating. You know, I people say, oh, there's really not a lot to decorate for Thanksgiving. Well, I have three complete bins full of Thanksgiving decorations. And the way I did is I just started a little at a time many, many years ago. Stores like Michael's and Hobby Lobby and the Christmas tree shop, you can get really economical Thanksgiving decorations. And what I typically do is I wait till after the holiday and buy them when they're 50 to 60% off, and then I have new decorations for the following year. So what I've done is I've just purchased you know, a couple new things every year until I've gotten to the point where I have a lot. I mean, I really decorate the whole first floor of my house for Thanksgiving. So it's really fun. It just adds kind of you know, festivities to the day. Very good. Well, any other suggestions or tips? Yeah. yeah. How about doing some cooking the day before? You know, knock out a few of those side dishes and pies, get them ready, cut and peel the potatoes and carrots, put the casseroles together. If you do things the day before, it makes it easier for the night uh, for the day of Thanksgiving. Very and then good. The la- Real quick, one of the last things is the night before, set your table and plan all your serving dishes and utensils the night before. So I put out all my plates, all my utensils, and I put a sticky note in each plate. This is going to be the squash. This is going to be the, you know, the pineapple souffle. This is going to be the carrots. This is going to be the corn. So that you're not running around Thanksgiving morning when everything's ready trying to figure out, I don't have enough serving dishes and I don't have enough bowls. And last, if you're having trouble with your turkey, don't forget the 1-800-Butterball line. They're open all of November and December. (laughs) It just sounds funny. With people that can help you. (laughs) Right, right, right. Now, when I come over, will I be seated at the uh, little kids' table or the adult table? You know what, Matt? You're you're like in between, I got to (laughs) say. I notice you're laughing, but nobody else is. You're still very young. Right, right, right. You might wind up having to be at the kids' table, but I think they'd love you. Fair enough. (laughs) <laughs> Deb, what's your website? It's decluttercoachdeb.com. All right. Thanks for joining us, Deb. Thank you. Bye, Naomi. Bye, Matt.